Yeah. So you, you went to university, but you, you were taking a degree in engineering, you sort of merged your way into doing 3D, mm. and then how did you end up doing in, into the whole training deal? Um, that, was, that was kind of a fluke. That was a bit of a fluke, and it stems from, I was working for a company over in North London, kind of Hertfordshire way, which is like a county just above about 20, 30 miles north of London. And I was looking to move to the southwest, uh, just for personal reasons at that particular time. And I applied to a publisher, just because they had a position going, just uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a role, just, just to get some money in, just to get out of uh, the area that I was currently in at the what, time. What kind of uh, position? It was, it was, it, it was, it was, it was a writer, yeah, it was a, writer, it was a full-time writer for uh, Computer Arts Magazine which is a monthly publication that, that comes out from a uh, publisher in Bath in the future. And it's uh, still coming out. I it's mean, still going, it's yeah. The, it's, it's, been going, it's been going since... So it was actually I think a full-time job working It was a full-time job working for them. For them. Oh, yeah. So I... And it's the same guys that publish 3D... 3D World. 3D World. Yeah. That's what I think. So I, I basically get a... Uh, I email them off, I send some samples across, and I get a phone call from a guy called Garrett Webster, who's who was then I think he was assistant editor on Computer Arts at the time, and uh, he was starting up Foodie World. So I got a phone call from him saying, um, "Got this passed across, you know, light your stuff, blah blah blah. Uh, we've got one guy who's doing some." Max tips for it, especially four pages of max tips, like 50 tips. Um, he's late with copy. Um, if he's any more late within the next three or four days, do you want to do it? We'll pay you X amount. Yeah, okay, fair enough, yeah, no problem. So um, I have a chat with him, he calls me back in a few days' time, saying, Yeah, he's late, run with it, you've got two weeks. So I knock that out and have a, ha a liaise with, uh, have a conversation with um, uh, Frank Lise, as I was saying earlier, and uh, have a chat with him and we come up with like a, a bunch of tips and what have you and that's the 50 max tips I've got on my site right at the bottom of the list of stuff in the education section that I've got. That's the article that I kind of came up with. Um, and that was the original. That was the original one that, that, that got me in 3D World. Yeah, and from then it's it's kind of just escalated from that. And so it's Garrick that I have to thank for everything and and every kind of um, you know stuff that I put out. I've always kind of you know put him in the other end of you know acknowledgement to the foot because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be well I'm speaking to you now. So that ended up being a turned into a full time. That, well, gig. It, 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 it turned into being a a regular gig. It turned into a regular gig. It's not something you can kind of you know retire on by any way, shape, or form. But it's it's you know it, it, it got my name out. It got me um, uh, in essence like you know like in the newspaper you get your column kind of thing, and it got like me doing a. Um, a regular slot with regards to Mac stuff within a monthly publication after the magazine got picked up and you know and and, then and, and you've been continuously doing those articles yeah, in three D I, ha I haven't I haven't done it for the last two or three months quite mm -hmm. simply because I've been so snowed on. I mean like I said I was in I was in India for like about seven or so weeks and I've been over in, in the States for a bit and it's just my schedule's been mental. I had to I just simply just didn't have the time to. And how long ago did you do the uh, the water tutorial? There was a whole uh, water. What was it? Water and waves and ocean simulation in Max. Oh God, I did That's one. Like, what is that? Like eight or nine months ago? Yeah, it was. It was about doing um, uh, automated foam. It was doing. Yes, it, was, it, was do, was it was to do with foam. drawing drawing foam out from like a leading wave kind of thing. So I developed a system. It's kind of rudimentary, really, and it just simply, when when the when the wave gets over, or when the geometry gets over a certain height, there's a gradient. There's there's like a cross section. So when it gets over a certain height, um, it reveals this white cap. So the kind of logical thinking is like this white cap is obviously.
obviously going to, because the, the wave's travelling, but the water's actually stationary. The water's not, right. it's, water's not actually physically right. moving. You get energy it's that the moves actual through surface, the water, yeah. and that energy is moving through. So move, yeah, that's and moving it changes through, but the, the actual surface, surface but the is actually physical physical water is not shifting. So therefore, it, that needs to basically draw, the geometry shape needs to draw out the actual foam itself. So there's no kind of native way within the software to be able to do that, uh, apart from like, God knows how many minimum particles. Mm. So by designing kind of like a rudimentary feedback system, so you have one image, you have, you have your render with this rent down from the top viewport facing down, um, you can save one image and then pipe it back in to like the background of the next render and apply the white additively on top of the old one so that it kind of adds one on top of the next to the top of the next top of the next mm. and so on and so on and so on and so on and that's how that kind of came about and that kind of process has been used uh, it, it, well it can be used to like draw out I've done it within um, the latest version of the Deep Destruct Me Elements book obviously the stuff with 3D work kind of let on from um, to do um, and when did the uh, deconstructing book come out? Um, the first one came out in 2004. I think it was. And the last one? The last one. Yeah, the latest one, third edition one, which was totally new content. Uh, that came out in 2008. That came out in October 2008. Uh, so, those of you interested, go look in your uh, yeah. bookstores, go look on Amazon well, for deconstructing the elements. Yeah. The, and it should be still in print, obviously. Oh, God.